Loyola. She is um, a new Hanford organizer from uh, Columbia Riverkeeper, uh, also an attorney like, uh, like our, our illustrious uh, state representative here. Uh, she's a, a shot of new energy uh, in organizing uh, uh, meetings up and down the river for Columbia Riverkeeper, and I uh, want you all to welcome her. Well, you've heard so much background tonight, so I'm just going to kind of wrap up because I really love questions. I think that's really the, the best time of this. But I just want to talk to you quickly about um, kind of what I do and where I come from. I come from New York. The only reason I've ever heard of Hanford is my uncle lives in Washington State, and he's, a, he's an activist. And I think that's a tragedy. And I moved here a year ago, and um, the, my uncle came to visit me my second day in town. He said, you know where Hanford is, right? And I said, yeah, you told me about Hanford. And then as I learned about it, and I learned about opportunities to work with groups like Columbia Riverkeeper, um, I am anyone who knows anyone east of the Oregon-Washington border, tell them about Hanford, because it's not just a Washington and Oregon problem. A lot of Hanford's problems are, they're bigger. It's the Department of Energy. It's political. And when you have um, the funding for cleanup of Hanford in the hands of senators from New York and Connecticut, New Jersey and Maryland, they, pro they probably don't know that Hanford exists. And there's a great clip of President Obama in a town hall meeting on his first um, presidential campaign, and a woman said, what are you going to do about Hanford? They keep cutting funding for it. It employs thousands of people in eastern Washington state. And he goes, I'm going to tell you what the politicians don't tell you. I don't know what Hanford is. And so people don't know what Hanford is. And I didn't know much about Hanford before I started working on it. Um, and that's a real tragedy, of, another tragedy of Hanford. Um, so I work with Columbia Riverkeeper. Um, we work on making sure that every decision that's made at Hanford that affects the river has the most potential to secure our, our future use of the Columbia River. So we focus on the decisions that impact the river. Um, that 50 mile stretch that surrounds Hanford it is an undammed stretch. It's the, long, the, the longest free-flowing section of the Columbia River. It's the most productive spawning habitat for wild salmon, wild Chinook fall salmon. And um, actually some of the fish is used in other hatcheries. And I come from a fishing background. So one thing I do is I've been talking to a lot of fishermen about it. And it's really fun to engage new communities. So think about, you guys obviously all interested in Hanford and working on the issue. So think about ways that you can engage other groups. And Fisherman has been a really enlightening way for me to uh, just inject some new blood into Hanford. I know I like to fish. What are they putting in my fish? What do you mean my fish is contaminated? Oh, I don't want to fish there. And everyone should be able to fish there. Um, so I want to just echo a few things some people said. Um, we look at where Hanford is, and we look at the, the um, generating station and the fault lines. Well, they didn't do geologic research when they built Hanford. Um, it was built in haste. It was built in wartime. And now we need to make up for those mistakes and take the precautions to protect our future. And when I think about the Columbia generating station, we can't get rid of Hanford in a year or two, but we can get rid of the Columbia Generating Station. So when you have those two catastrophic double jeopardy events, Hanford is a longer term problem and all, has longer term solutions than uh, the Generating Station. Today on my way in here, uh, I came up with a new campaign for Hanford. Um, I got a flat tire on the highway. Um, catastrophic blowout. I was fine, but I got out my spare tire and put it on my skirt and on 84, and I drove in here, and I thought, I better make sure that that tire is in good shape. I went to the tire dealer, got new tires. I better make sure my tire is in good shape, because when that happens again, I'm not going to have a spare tire, and that's what we're missing at Hanford. There's not a plan B. Oh, we have double shell tanks. Well, the double shell tank is now leaking. Oh, well, it has another shell in it. No, you need a plan B. There always needs to be a spare tire. And um, 
there's been a lot done. I know that, you know, you looked at Hanford and it was sort of like everything everywhere. And, you know, they're, they, they're working to get pollution off the river and, and build a vitrification plant. But all the while, my new slogan is, where's the plan be at Hanford? And so